welcome Leo. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Starseed Oracle. Sorry, I had to check it was the right way around. Um, and Divine Directions and Animal Tarot Cards. Okay, Leo, let's get into it. We want one card. One card for Leo, please. Just one. Leo, what? Okay, we're on the floor. Let me just grab this. Okay, Leo, we have the void. Interesting. Stop. Embrace winter. Great cosmic womb. Ooh, intriguing. We're going to have a look at that at the end. Leo, where is the book? So I can get it ready for you. The void. Embrace winter, you know, it kind of like, I have this feeling that for some of you, it's like being in a storm, right? Being in a storm. And the storm is kind of like this rough and tumble of life. And it's getting ready. Getting ready. To birth you into something new. Tell me more about the void for Leo, please. Tell me more about the void for Leo. Three cards. One. Can't see what it is yet. Two. Three. Okay, so we have ground. We have. Uh, sorry, this was the next one to come out. Trust. And we have create. Okay, so ground. It's time to ground and center your energy. Be truly present in your life. Truly present in your life. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look at this here, Leo. Tell me more about ground for Leo, please. Tell me more about this. Have we got already wow wow this is a beautiful card here it's unity ground any more cards for ground for leo please okay that's too many we're just going to go with that one that jumped out um, so I've got one, two, wow, Leo, we have unity here, look at this beautiful, beautiful card, I love this, it's the most gorgeous card, I want to read it to you, embrace this time of deep spiritual growth, you may feel called to act as a mentor or find a new teacher or spend time with others who are also on a sacred path. Yeah, this is about you learning. Learning about the universe, learning about the void, learning about yourself and who you truly are and how that all works together for you. Right? We've got the two of winter here. This is a dec decision for you to make here, Leo. feel like this is a decision for you to make about yourself what is what is right for you here what is in your heart what do you want to um, pursue and follow for yourself you know because to be honest with you when you ground and center your energy it's going to make it easier for you to make that decision because you'll be coming from a heart centered place Okay, rather than from the head, right? We have the Ace of Spring here, and this is the beginning of something brand spanking new. Something absolutely, something that you've dreamed of. The 
is the sense of resistance because of there's something about protection here because I'm seeing the mum with the baby cub and um, whether it's that you feel like you need protecting or you feel like you're stepping away of being the protector maybe that's part of the journey maybe that's part of the journey but we also have the nine of summer here and this is about all your dreams right all your dreams coming true this is this i hear leo i feel like there's some things that need to be tidied up right um it's not quite there yet but almost there it's one more step but it could be the hardest step this is the thing you know because this is where things get real now right things are going to get serious so what does that really look like for you and it's about being honest with yourself about the truth of that, okay? We have the Angora rabbit here, and that rabbit looks absolutely petrified. But the thing is that the um, I'm just reading the card here. It says, time to hop into action. Use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success in your life. Yes. You see? No matter what the fear is, no matter what changes need to be made for this to happen, make them because it is you ultimately and, you know, what is in your heart here, that is what matters, okay? That's the main thing, all right? Trust. Trust in your intuition and what you are feeling, sensing, seeing or experiencing, Yes, trust, especially with this void, like I keep coming back to this, right? And that might be hard for some of you to do because you feel like, oh my gosh, this is just a big storm. I don't even know, you know, what to trust. But the thing is, Leo, that you know when you know, there is no doubt. If there's doubt, sit back, right? If there's doubt, sit back. Okay, awesome. Oh, we've got three cards. Oh, no, we don't. That was that one. Um, tell me more about trust for Leo, please. Trust. I feel like this is about you also trusting. Um, with, with this being a spiritual journey, this is about you learning to trust your instincts um, and your intuition primarily because of the spiritual nature of this journey, because of the heart needing to lead rather than the mind, okay? Um, and I love this because we have the three of summer here, and this is, I feel like, about you joining forces with others who um, who are on the same frequency as yourself, okay? Because whatever it is that you're going to pursue here, Leo, these, these others around you are going to help to make that happen for you, okay? There's, um, there's people who will, um, how can I put this? It's sort of like as you go to propel forward, you're going to feel something pull back. There will be, and it may not even be people, it may be circumstances um, that you feel like this. And it, and it could be small comments of people going, oh, really? Do you really think you should be doing that? Or is that really going to be sustainable in the long term for you? You know, just little niggles. Um, but there are a, a few who will fly with you and even if they're not with you energetically and vibrationally they will be a match to the flight that you are about to embark upon okay so i think it's very very important to be conscious 
of uh, those instincts within you, okay? Because it can be easily misconstrued as, oh, they mean well. But when you feel it within you, you will know the difference, okay? The seahorse. Look at this. This is the Prince of Autumn. The Prince of Autumn. This is definitely money coming in for you here. Um, and I honestly feel like I want to read this card. It's important to make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavour. Once you have that plan in place, oops, spitting everywhere, then you can take immediate action and get as much accomplished as possible. Hmm. Yeah, and that, I guess, is something that um, then you'll have a clearer direction of um, where you're going with that and what steps to, to take to achieve that. We have the Four of Autumn as well. And this is about this action, I feel. Um, sitting down and putting pen to paper so it's clear in your mind. So you're not you're not trying to make sense of it or trying to remember things. It's all down on paper. You know what the goal is. Okay, if you need to make amendments and adjustments, you can do that. Okay, this is about getting contracts signed as well, I feel. Um and about having things balanced out for you so that, um, because the seahorse sits um, quite confidently here. And the seahorse can get easily spooked. And I'm not feeling that with this. So I think it's important to make sure that everything is clear and above board for you. Okay. Beautiful. Anything else for trust? I think also when we're talking about trust here, Leo, that's going to make it easier for you to trust um, when you're clear on everything that is going to transpire here. Okay, um, we have the red doll here. Look at this, sitting there, owning, owning the sofa, and and I, this is what is coming for you. This is absolutely what is coming for you. You are going to be going into this peaceful. Um, secure environment okay you're not going to have to worry about any foundations being sh shaken okay but I want to say that in order for that to happen the foundation has to actually be laid and everything has to be clear okay everything has to be clear what does that look like and how is that going to work Oh, wow. Wow. We have the King of Autumn here. Look, this is you. This is you galloping along. Everything. This is an absolute harvesting of your hard work. And you shining in that. And owning it. 100%. Honestly, this is incredible. This is such success in your life. Prosperity. This is beyond incredible. We also have the three of autumn here. And this is you being rewarded for your work. Being acknowledged. Because it's going to come out here, Leo. You're going to be seen. And the beauty within you that is held is going to flourish. You are going to make marks on this world. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, are you. And so, yeah, create, right? Unlock your creative side with dance, music, art, or writing. Express yourself. Don't hold back. Get into it. Get into it. Okay. Tell me more about Create for Leo, please. Tell me more about Create for Leo. And maybe this is what this Prince of Autumn is about, getting everything down on paper, right? Writing everything down so it's clear for you. Boy, oh boy. Wow. Cards flying everywhere. Let's sit one down there.
Okay, let me go and pick some cards up. Okay, Leo, we have the Five of Summer and the Four of Summer here. And um, this is definitely some spiritual growth for you. Okay, and it's time to come out of your shell. And I feel as though this, create, this thing that um, needs to be created is you coming out of your shell and bringing it to the forefront. Okay, no more time to sit back. No more time to sit in the back, right? It's time to come forward and lead. Be the lead. Lead the way. Lead the way for yourself and lead the way for others, okay? Um, we've got the Princess of Winter here. And I want to say about this is, is try not to get bothered by um, insignificant things. When you look at the bigger picture, there are things that are going to irritate you. There are things that are going to annoy you. Okay, look at those things um, as that they have been shown to you for you to work through those things rather than um, whatever the circumstance is around you that is happening to show you these things that need to be worked on. Just look at what needs to be worked on and work on them. Okay. Um, we have the six of a spring. Okay, and this is success. This is absolute success. Okay, and whatever it is that you're doing. But remember, there's still a way to go. Okay, celebrate all the successes that you do have. Remember to stay grounded. Okay, every single time you have a success, remember to ground yourself and refocus. Try not to get carried away with everything. Because it's going to be easy to do that at times. And think that you're there. But there's still more work to be done. In order to make that a sustainable um, foundation. There is still work to be done. You're always going to be needing to put that effort in. Okay. We have the Prince of Summer here. I love this. Look at this beautiful card. Reminds me of the princess and the golden ball or something like that. I think it was when I was young. But this, um, oh, it's got the glass slipper here. Let's have a read of this. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, enchanting. A deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your th feet. Things can move very quickly during such whirlwind encounters. So stay balanced and make decisions both in your heart and your intellect. Okay, so combining the heart and the mind together. Hmm. Because look, this is the journey, right? This is the journey that you will be going on, potentially overseas. Okay, um, and while it's an adventure, it's still important for you not to get swept up in in the glory, in the glory of it all. Okay, very important for you to keep keep grounded along the way. Very important, even when you're on the ocean, keep grounded. Okay, Leo, let's have a look at the void. What does this say? Stop. Embrace winter. Great cosmic womb. Everything and nothing exists in the void. It's where all life begins and ends. It's the winter and the womb. The fertile darkness where all things originate and all seeds grow. Comforting and intimidating. Freeing and daunting. It can feel both overwhelmingly small and huge. The void is where faith lives. The message of the void is to surrender to the unknown, to allow the fertile darkness of nothingness to nourish the new seeds growing within you, regardless of whether you know what they'll one day become. You're being called to surrender to the mystery of what's next, to rest and to allow the winter of your life to do the work for you, to hand over your control and trust 
that just because you can't see what's happening beneath the surface, it doesn't mean things aren't at work. The greatest weavings happen when we find a way to surrender and trust that our life is being knitted for us right beneath the surface in ways known and unknowable. Now is the time to cultivate faith and allow deep, deep rest. The void often surfaces at the end of a chapter or life phase. When we're being called to let go of that we know and identify with. When you're in the void, it can feel scary and as if you should be doing something. However, when this card appears, it's a sure sign that the most productive thing to do is to relinquish relinquish control and surrender to the changing mystery of your life. Okay, so the soul inquiry for you, Starseed, is how are you being called to surrender to the unknown mystery of your life? Love it. That's awesome. Yep, sure. Okay, Leo, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.